This is First Coast TV. We find ourselves here with Anne Kraft, actor, director, producer. She has many hats when it comes to theater uh, and, and, and cultural uh, affairs. And so she has a new project coming up, uh, an event. And so we wanted to talk to her and ask her, what is this all about? Well, the title of the project is Love, Loss, and What I Wore. And it kind of tells it all in the fact that what I wore are articles of clothing or accessories that trigger memories. And the memories are collections from, taken from a book by Eileen Beckerman and put together by Nora Ephron and her sister Delia Ephron. It is funny, it is touching, it just covers the gamut of emotions, of things that women have experienced in their lives, connected with their clothes, um, our horror stories of being in the dressing room. We've all experienced that, you know, the three-sided mirrors and like nowhere, everywhere you look, you look terrible. So you walk out totally discouraged and leave that bathing suit for another year. Um, our shoes, why we wear so much black. Uh, all these kinds of stories are what's covered in this. And it's funny, funny, funny because it's the laughter of recognition. We all recognize these things because we've experienced it. And I have to say... Well, I was going to say, you, you have performed this play before and it's sold out. Yes, we were so thrilled. It, we did it earlier, oh, not this year, last year in uh, May for the Romanza Festival, actually. Yeah, I remember. And uh, yeah, each performance was sold out and people begged us to bring it back. So we have brought it back, we being a classic theater. So we brought it back and we're using it as a fundraiser to help uh, fund our next production. Actually, not the next one, but the one in May, which is a an original musical. Oh, wow. And it'll be a musical about Debbie McDade, who lives here, a jazz singer who left St. Augustine in Lincolnville and went to New York City to pursue her career in jazz, had a career, has come back, and now at 90 years old, we, we're going to do this musical tribute to Debbie. Wow. So this show, Love, Loss, and What I Wore, is funding that. It's helping helping fund it. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. that's why the tickets are $25. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's wonderful. And uh, how many how many people in the cast? Uh, it's a six-person cast, all ladies, and they're marvelous. I have to say that this experience directing them was probably the most rewarding emotionally experience I've ever had in theater. We bonded, we had fun, we shared our own personal experiences, and they were so open and giving and willing to learn and to connect with the material. People don't realize that for actors to connect to the material, it's a lot of work. Yes, yes <laughs> it is. As someone who has a background in theater, yes. Yeah. And I was also going to say, the playwright of this is Nora Ephron, which people know her name, uh, you know, in the in the comedy world, and her sister Delia put it together. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Yes, I saw inserts of it. Um, I, I guess yes, during the Romanza, and the audience just couldn't stop laughing. It was, it's very witty. Yeah. It reminds a lot of Neil Simon. You know, it, it's very intelligent comedy. It is because it's real. Yeah. It's based on yes. real people, yeah. their real stories. Right. So of course, right. that is the best comedy of all. Yes, yes. Like nothing's funnier than real life. Yeah. Yes. And as a director, I have to share this with you: is that I discovered years ago, comedy terrified me as an actor. Mm -hmm and because I'm trained in the Stanislavski method and all of that uh -huh. good stuff. Uh -huh. And my early days of acting, I went for the truth. Yes. It was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I tried to discover what it was about comedy. And I, this is what I found out. Comedy is about pain, but the pain is gone. Drama is about pain, and it's happening right now. Okay, okay. Great <laughs> definition. Great definition. Yes. Well, we want to wish you the best on this endeavor. Oh. Um, and I know t tickets are selling hot. And they are. I know. I've heard. And I wish you break a leg, as they say. Thank you so much. And please, you know, call, go to our website, a classic theater, uh, www.classictheater.org, and uh, 
order your tickets now because we did have to turn people away the last time and that's a that's a terrible thing for our theater company and we'd the like performances to oh for Saturday, January 23rd at 7.30, and Sunday afternoon, January 24th at 2 o'clock. All right, yeah. at the... Uh, at the um, Gamash Koger Theater in right. the Rainhaver Student Center of Flagler College. Right, right across the post office. Yes, 50 Sevilla Street. All right, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, thank Anna. you so much for this time. Have a lovely day. See you in the theater. Okay. Okay.